Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. What are you wearing, Jack the Nimble? <laughs> well, I'm wearing very special solar eclipse glasses that's going to help me see the solar eclipse here in Rochester on April 8th. And I hope you get these special glasses so that you can see it too. Right now, we are going to read a story called A Few Beautiful Minutes, and it's all about experiencing a solar eclipse. Under a broad blue sky from coast to coast, we gather for a rare illusion, a total solar eclipse when the sun vanishes into thin air for a few beautiful minutes. A solar eclipse is when the sun, the moon, and the earth all line up perfectly. And in certain places in the country, like here in Rochester and Buffalo and some other places, the moon looks like it totally blocks out the sun. In the endless expanse of space, the universe prepares for a show, one the sun and moon has given us since the dawn of time. They find their places as the performance begin. The sun, forever the star, beams vast and vibrant, her stage unchanged. So there's the sun, there's the moon, and there's the earth. They're preparing to line up. But the moon has already begun gliding, sliding, slipping into the spotlight to steal the sun's glory for a few beautiful minutes. So it looks like over here, they're starting to prepare homemade um, ways to look at the solar eclipse. But I purchased my solar eclipse glasses on Amazon. So I tried it the home way, homemade way once. Mm, didn't work too well, but maybe you can try it and it'll work better. Little by little, she hides the sun. Our eyes alone can't see the change. The sun, still too bright, can burn them for life. So never look straight at the sun. That's why you need special glasses. So look through the sun viewers, or these special glasses, and see the glowing giant seems shrunken, her circle chipped into a crescent. Looks like they have a viewing party. In the shadows of trees, slivers of light mirror the sun's shifting silhouette. So you can start to see the little crescents. The sun's not going to look big. It's going to start looking like a crescent. Here we go. The moon moves farther and farther in front of the sun. So there's the moon and there's the sun. You can see it looks like a crescent. A small sphere striving to overshadow a giant for a few beautiful minutes. Moment by moment, for an hour or more, the stage transforms. The sun grows slimmer, the sky dimmer, as midday twilight takes shape. The world grows more dark than light as eerie orange hues hug the horizon. Above us, the sky becomes as dark as the deep sea during the middle of the day. Stars shining brighter than ever twinkle in the darkness. Birds roost for the night as crickets and bats wake. Temperatures plummet as the chill of night nips at our ears. In the cold, in the dark, in anticipation, we wait for a few beautiful minutes. The last rays of light fade away, and the moment arrives. The corona, the sun's atmosphere, or crown, now shimmers around the moon, the unlikely queen of the solar system. So that's called the corona. 
the corona's lightning like tentacles grasp at space, their glow dances in our eyes, all of us aware of our own tininess, all captivated and connected for those tiny, precious minutes. And you know what's wrong with this page? Hmm. Nobody, ha nobody has their special solar glasses on or nobody's looking through that. Maybe this lady over here, but always remember to wear your special solar eclipse glasses. I don't like these people. What? In the crowd is one tiny precious you with your solar eclipse glasses. Arms spread wide in the sweet, cool grass. Under a velvet panorama, you come face to face with the splendor of the universe for a few beautiful minutes. It's amazing what God created. But it cannot last. All shows must end. The moon glides on. The sun reemerges, reclaiming her daytime throne. So you start to see the moon uncovering the sun. A little, a little light creeps back to earth. We look around at one another. Once strangers, we are now friends. People who, together, glimpsed the extraordinary. Speechless, we smile, we hug, we high five, and we remember all that we saw because it's pretty special. For a few beautiful minutes. And then it goes on to explain a little bit more about the solar eclipse. And the very back cover says, you are a tiny precious part of an infinitely beautiful universe. We know that God created that universe. So I'm so happy that you joined me today to learn about the solar eclipse. Remember, get your solar eclipse glasses. You can probably you can find them on Amazon. That's where I got mine. But you can also probably find them in some stores. And it's April 8th. And I know here in Rochester, I'll be watching it with my glasses. And I hope you do too, wherever you are. I hope it's visible for you. I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. Jesus loves you and so do I. See you next time.